What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com. And, Jeff, today we are doing five facts in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. I, I have <laughs> sweet, sweet memories of Mortal Kombat. Do you man. really? Dude, I love Mortal Kombat. That it was, was a great game. Man. Well, either it was kind of like you were either a Street Fighter person or a Mortal Kombat person, right? Like in uh, the arcade? Pretty much, yeah. And, and, but even then, you were a Mortal Kombat 1 or 2 or 3. Yeah. I was a Mortal Kombat 2 guy myself. Yeah, I was kind of a, I was a Mortal Kombat 2 guy. I love, like, Reptile in, in Part mm -hmm. 2. But Mortal Kombat 1, you could sit me in front of a Mortal Kombat machine right now, and I could probably do most of the fatalities. Mortal Kombat. And I played the game in years. When Mortal Kombat came out, I was obsessed with the game. I don't know if you remember this game. It was a game called Pit Fighter. Oh yeah, I remember Pit Fighter. I was obsessed was with Pit Fighter. Three person then, fighting game. Yeah. Then yeah. Mortal Kombat just destroyed it. Well, I never played it again. Like Pit Fighter, like and Mortal Kombat both had sort of those like those digitized version, like mm -hmm. real photos that were then digitized. FMV type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, not, uh, yeah. But anyway, so. Uh, I think, God damn, this game was awesome. I mean, this game came out in 1992, right? And it was, uh, what, Midway did this one, I think? Yeah, I believe so. And uh, it was Ed Boon and John Tobias, and, uh, you know, they, Noob Sabot. Was, that's, <laughs> that's not a fact, but anyway. And also, here's another fun fact. Do you know what actually created the ESRB, which was... Mortal Kombat yeah, did. Mortal Kombat. I did know that, Was yeah. responsible for responsible it. Responsible for it, yeah. But anyway, those are, those are uh, you know, that's a, another easy fact. But hey... Neither here nor there. Why don't we get into the actual facts here? How about this? Okay, originally, Mortal Kombat creators Ed Boon and John Tobias planned on creating a video game based on the Jean-Claude Van damn movie Bloodsport. Okay, USA. <laughs> However, the deal to use the license fell through. Boone and Tobias continued their project to make a fighting game, which turned into the first Mortal Kombat. Bonus fact, Johnny Cage was created with Van Damme in mind. Where was I the, totally uh, where was the uh, mullet? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it would make sense, too, because, like, remember the part where he had to break the brick, and they, like, bottom brick, or whatever, and he made him break just yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah. And there's the whole, like, you know, test your might in, in the first Mortal Kombat. that movie. fact alone just makes Steven Seagal sad? <laughs> <laughs> there was no, no, no fighting game based on Under Siege, yeah. I guess. <laughs> or, like, Hard to Kill, or yeah. March for Death. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two, in the first Mortal Kombat game, your character is actually participating in the 10th Mortal Kombat tournament. According to the storyline, if the the Earth Realm, which is our our world we live on, yeah, loses we just call it Earth, but yeah, sure. <laughs> loses ten tournaments in a row. Humanity gets sent into darkness of the Outworld, <laughs> and that's where uh, that's wait, no, that's not where Scorpion lives because like the Outworld is where like Sindel and um and uh, what's his name Shang Tsung live, but there's the Nether Realm, yeah, right. That's where Scorpion lives. There's a whole bunch of different things. Like, can I you, tell you? I must have played. I probably I probably played Mortal Kombat for. A good four or five years before I knew there was a plot. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, did you play the most recent, the remake of it? Or not the remake, but the most recent Mortal, Mortal Kombat? Kombat? Yeah, yeah I, I, did. There, I, I, I did. There's an awesome campaign that actually kind of tells the story of Mortal Kombat. And it's like, it introduces the characters really, really well and kind of, it, it's, it's neat how it all works out. I liked it a lot. All right, number three. In the arcade version of Mortal Kombat, there was a rumored glitch that caused Sub-Zero or Scorpion to, to turn into a red ninja. On the diagnostic screen of Mortal Kombat 1, the phrase ERMAC5, meaning Error Macro 5, was shown. People believe that name had something to do with the Red Ninja. After heavy circulation of the rumors, the development team created a secret Red Ninja character named Ermac for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. That's how Ermac came about? Yeah, well, remember, there was uh, uh, Reptile was in the first game. Yeah, like, didn't was. You, you had to, like, it was like almost impossible to get him to show Yeah, you had to like perfect a character, or you had, you had to like get perfect two times in a row without jumping. On the pit stage, on the pit and, stage. The, and then do and the fatality to send yeah. him into the pit. I forget what it was exactly, but I, I never saw... Never, uh, I don't know if anybody did. Yeah, yeah, I never saw Reptile in the actual arcade. There may be a modified uh, arcade machine I saw him on one time. Like, you know, like the, like sort of like Street Fighter 2, they had the Rainbow Edition, where mm -hmm. like there were like illegal hacks. I think I maybe saw a Reptile on a Mortal Kombat 1 machine, like it's, like, like it's Six Flags or something, huh. where it was like some weird version of it, but... Anyway, uh, number four, the Mortal Kombat 2 arcade machine was so popular that many machines had deadlock security panels installed to keep people from stealing the motherboard and taking them home. No shit. That's kind of funny. Dude, I remember the first day Mortal Kombat 2 showed up at Aladdin's Castle in Barton Creek Mall. And it was so popular, they put a TV monitor on top of the machine, <laughs> so people circling it could see the game. Yeah. And that, was, and that was one of those things where if you got in a roll, like I remember playing, because I was probably maybe 10 at the time, 10, something like that, and uh, playing the hell out of that game. And when you would be like the little kid beating the shit out of high school kids, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It was also a good way to get your ass beat the second you walked out of Aladdin's Castle. Yeah, that's why you never leave Aladdin's <laughs> Castle. <laughs> Wait till your mother escorts you out. Exactly. You know, bye, Mom. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, and last but not least, Mortal Kombat was one of the earliest games to feature the juggling concept. This refers to the idea that once a fighter gets knocked into the air, they are helpless and susceptible to even more damage and more hang time. John Tobias later admitted that this was done by accident. <laughs> so that's where you can knock someone up. And then there was like those endless combos that were f drove you fucking crazy, right? So how much of Mortal Kombat wasn't an accident then? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's all happy accidents. Well, Mortal go. Kombat 3, they included the run button, right? And you could do like, they actually brought in combos. Yeah. And that was sort of, to me, that's where it sort of gets kind of got away from me. Like, I remember, I have more fond memories about Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 than anything That's else. actually, I was I was good with 3, but that's why I couldn't get into Killer Instinct. Yeah. Is because the combo thing was too much for me. I thought Mortal Kombat did it pretty well. Yeah. Actually, but, uh, yeah, combos, combos are a thing now. Yeah, there was always this thing, like, you know, with, uh, with Sub-Zero, you would jump kick in, do the slide, and then do the ground ice, mm -hmm. and then do the uppercut, and you could knock off, like, 40% of someone's health if you get it all rolling at once, but... And when you don't, you're just dead. Yeah, you're just screwed, but... Anyway, Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite games of all time. Actually, I own one of the arcade machines I have in my garage right now, so... Yeah, that is... You are just... That is a <laughs> calling card for no sex right there. <laughs> it's so awesome, Is that though. how you pick up the ladies at I the do. bar? You're like... You want to yeah. go back to my place? I have a uh, Mortal Kombat cabinet. No, you you want to come and back to my place her, and look in the garage? She calls her friends and says, I'm about to be raped. Call, somebody, call the police. Does this rag smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> anyway, but that's Mortal Kombat, and we'll be back next week for five more facts and some other fascinating game. Toasty!